Aloha. Hey, I made it about halfway there, but uh, I had an epiphany along the way. Doug, what's going on? How you doing, Doug? I'm not going to be able to see everybody that jumps on, Mike. Actually, I can see pretty good today. I don't know what's going on. I didn't bring my glasses out here. Orlando, what's going on, man? Hey, listen, I don't know if any of you caught my video from last Sunday, but I made a decision and taking action on it that I'm going to swim across here. I'm going to show you the distance here in just a minute. I'm going to show you where I made it to last week. Mark, what's going on, brother? And uh, I'm going to show you where I made it to last week. I'm going to show you where I made it to today. Swimming across here, across this. It's kind of a channel out there because it's a, about a 30-foot drop after you get past the coral. But um, I had a little bit of an epiphany and I'm going to, you know, kind of a aha moment, if you will. Something that I share with all the guys that I personally work with. But I want to show you real quick how far I made it and what I'm doing here. So let me turn this camera around. So this right here is Waikiki. You can see this point way over here. That's where I started from. I get in the water over here, go along that wall, go about to right there. Then I swim across here. Last week, I made it to right there. I'm going to try to zoom in. Let's see if I can zoom in here. There's a rock out there. Not able to zoom in today. All right, anyway, there's a rock about right there. You can see it when the tide comes down. Last time I made it to about right there. Today, I made it to right about here and then swam back in here to the shoreline where it's a wall right here. But ultimately, I want to make it all the way over there. All right? So that's what I want to do. That's my plan. That's my goal. Gavin, what's going on, man? Russell, what's y'all up to? Getting ready to watch the game, I'm sure. Not interested. All right. So I don't know if you could hear any of that because I know the camera, the, uh, the uh, mic turns around when I turn the camera around too. But listen, check this out, man. So I was swimming. That's a little close, isn't it? I was swimming. And the thing you got to realize about swimming in the ocean is about in September, I moved up here to the mountains. I live up here in the mountains in, in Manoa now. I used to live down on the beach on the west side. And I was in the water almost at least three, four times a, a, a week, if not every single day, I was in the water. Um, definitely every weekend I was in the water. But since September, I haven't been getting in the water that much. And the water out here is a lot different than the water over on the west side. It's a lot more choppy, especially today, current coming in and out. So when I'm swimming out here, one, visibility is not that great. So. If you're not used to swimming in the ocean, you're always scared about what's out there, what you can't see, you just don't know. That's fear number one. Fear is of the unknown. You don't know what's to come. You don't know what's out there. Manny, what's going on? Hope you made it home safe. Lionel, what's, what's up, brother? And um, so one, you have the, the fear of the lack of visibility. You don't know what's out there. Two, the current's pushing you back and forth in and out. Three, my lungs are on fire because I haven't swam in a while and I'm getting exhausted. And then I gotta consider, am I gonna swim back that way or am I gonna come into shore? Now the problem with coming into shore is the current and the sh it's very, very shallow right here. It's very shallow. I mean, I can stand up in the waters like up to my knees once I get over here onto the coral, onto the reef uh, area. So there's a lot of fears going on there. But here's the thing. This is how I correlate this with coaching, with, with my coaching practice, is you gotta push yourself beyond the limits that you've set for yourself. Pushing yourself to those limits. Now out here, I wanted to push myself to those limits. The reason why I wanted to push myself to those limits is because I knew I had to get a certain distance, but I still had to come back into shore. And I still had to have the energy to get back into shore and not have to call for help for the lifeguard over here or somebody else that was over here on shore. That would be a little bit embarrassing, but I would still do it. I would have still called for help if I needed to. That's the point of getting a coach. That's the point of having a mentor. Because had I had somebody else out there who is a much better ocean swimmer than I am and in much better shape than I am right now, he or she could have pushed me beyond my limits that I put into myself, that I set on myself, because one, I know that he or she is there for me and is gonna help me get in if I get in trouble. And so I'm gonna be able to go past beyond, well beyond the limits that I set in my own mind because I've set my distance over there 
But even though I set my distance over there, I know I'm not gonna make that today. I knew I wasn't gonna make that today, but here's the thing. If I had a coach with me, a swimming coach in this case, if I'd had a coach with me, he or she would have been able to push me. I know for sure he or she would have been able to push me all the way over there to that distance. All the way over there. There's no doubt in my mind because I, I would have had that safety net. I would have known that I have that person there for me to make sure that I'm staying safe, to make sure that I'm going to push beyond my limits, but oh, by the way, still be able to get into shore and, and stand up on dry land and catch my breath. It's the same with a coach. It's the same with relationships. It's the same with your business. It's the same with uh, having a coach to help you find a better job or to help you um, do anything it is that you want to do. Run a marathon, swim across the channel out here on Waikiki. Whatever it is, when you have a coach by your side, you know you can push the distance. You know you can push beyond what you said in your mind because it's a safety net. It's somebody who has been there where you're at right now and they are much further than where you are in life based on their experiences, based on their, if it's a health and fitness goal, then based on their, their current fitness level, they have specific skills that are gonna be able to push your mind beyond that and get you to where you want to go ultimately. So my point of this message is get a coach. And if you resonate with me and you would like for me to be your coach in living a life of abundance and family, faith, finances, or fitness, then go to menofabundance.com, click on the coaching tab that's up on top of the screen, fill out that quick form, and request a 30-minute call with me just to see if you and I can work together. And I'll be honest with you, if I don't think that I can work with you, then I will refer you to somebody else who I think may be able to assist you. Chris, what's going on, man? Glad to see you here. Glad to see you here. And um, really, by Salas, I don't know, I can't read that one. But um, if you think I might be the coach that would be able to help you in that regard, living your life of abundance and family finances and fitness and prosperity, then go to menofabundance.com, click on the coaching tab up on top, request a 30 minute call with me. I don't take every call, even though you fill that out, I look through there and I will at least send you an email and let you know if I think it's a good fit or not. If not, we're gonna get on a call, go a little bit further, we're gonna have kind of a little uh, coaching discovery call, and then you're gonna know at that point if you're willing to work, if you, if you can work with me, and I will know if I can work with you, we'll make a decision at that point in time. Man, these waves are coming in. All right, man, I know you guys are getting ready to watch the game. Um, I'm gonna go run around, I got a really good friend that's here on island, a high school friend, I'm gonna meet up with sometime today, I hope, if we, if we can get our uh, schedule right, but um, man, you guys just live an amazing life of abundance and always pay it forward. Take care, everybody. Aloha.